So I've been experimenting with RC Delta wing designs recently. My basic requirements is that it can be made out of a single sheet of 20 by 30 foam board. This is just from the Dollar Tree. It has a 30 inch wingspan to use the full size of this board. And that has a KFM2 airfoil made out of half inch wall insulation board from Home Depot. This is the first one I built. It is really basic design, flat back, and is this one flies really, really poorly. It's really pitchy and just hard to control. The next one I built is this one. This is a variation on the Delta Fighter by RC Test Flight. It's a lot better than the first one, but still pretty pitchy in my experience. So I decided that I want something that flew just a little bit better. Next one I made is a scaled down version of the right wing RC Zephyr. I got the dimensions online and just basically scaled it down to a 30 inch wingspan. Now this one flies really, really nicely. It's not pitchy at all, very, very stable. As you can see, there's not much wing area there. So I decided that I want just a little bit more of a wing area so I could carry a little bit more of a payload on there. So then I built this one. This is bigger. Uh, it flies great, but it was starting to get a little bit pitchy again. So I decided to make a combination between this one and the mini Zephyr design. And this is the one I came up with. It has a 30 inch wing span. The root cord from here to here is 11.5 inches and a 9 inch tip cord. Now that 9 inch tip cord includes 7 inches of body from here to here and then 2 inches of elevon from here to here. And these elevons are 10 inches wide. And it has a basic KFM2 airfoil on there. Um, since it's 11.5 root cord on there, half it's 5.75 and it scales down to 4.5 inches on the outside since it's 9 inches from here to here. These tails, they're just 9 inches long, 3 inches tall from the midline, and 2 inches down from the midline, and those are just 45 degree angles on there. And so then that makes it 5 inches tall in the back. Um, I've outfitted it with a Turnigy 2730-1500 kV motor, 8x38 prop and a prop saver, 18 amp ESC, orange DSM-2 compatible receiver, and just two 9 gram servos. And this plane is great. It's not pitchy, it's really, really smooth in the air, can fly slow, can fly fast. I am really, really happy with this. And I don't know how to make PDFs, so those will not be available, but I think I've given you enough information so you could build this if you are interested. Here's how to lay out this plane on a sheet of 20 by 30 foam board. As you can see, this wing has lots of power. It's very maneuverable and very stable. It's perfect to just fly around in a little park. On my transmitter, I have programmed in uh, Expos about 35 to 45% on both the elevator and aileron control, and I definitely recommend you do this. Flying wings are perfect little fun planes for the uh, for like a park. They're very agile and definitely have a lot of speed. This plane will glide very nicely, but you do need to program a brake onto your ESC. If you have one of those little ESC programming cards, it's one of the options on there. This is only a 24 gram motor on this plane and it is pretty fast. If you, you can put a much larger motor on this and get a lot more speed out of this plane. I'm really really happy with this design. This is a very fun plane and I'm really happy with how this design turned out. Once again, thanks for watching and please subscribe.